Hello, everyone. Hello, everyone. Sydney Storm here, eccentric entertainer, balloon maker. Welcome back to my channel. Today, we are going to learn how to twist a very cool balloon flower. Stay tuned. So to begin with a flower, I like to use two balloons in order to make a flower. I also have a simpler one balloon flower that we may cover at another time. But what we'll start out with is a lime green 260Q balloon. So again, when they're 260Qs, that means they're two inches around when inflated and 60 inches long if fully inflated. So we're gonna go ahead and nearly fill this balloon all the way up. We're just gonna leave about an inch or an inch and a half there off the end. Let a little bit of air out. And one thing that makes that balloon a little longer than 60 inches is if you give it a stretch just like this, and your hands have to be relatively dry for that if they're moist at all from like grabbing a bottle of water or something that's going to squeak, squeak, squeak. But what we'll do is we'll go ahead and make, we're going to go ahead and make the stem actually right now. So to do that, we make it much the same way we make a sword, a balloon sword. We're going to go ahead and fold it just like this so that we get an S. But when we make a sword, we actually do this action way closer to, to, to the end so you have a nice shorter handle. But this is going to look like a sword with a, a long handle to it. So we make an S, like for, for me, Sydney Storm, and, and imagine a line that goes straight up and down through all of this. And what you want to do is grab all of that, and don't be afraid, twist, twist all of it. One, two, three is usually enough. And technically, you could probably stop right here if you would like. But in order to create stability for the balloon to keep it from flopping over to make it look like a wilted flower, what we actually do is we'll, we'll fold a little J shape in there. Imagine a little line right there going into the middle. And if this is your first balloon, this is a, a technique, uh, first balloon you're making with me, this is a technique we teach in several of the other videos. So just imagine a little line right there, twist them all, one, two, three, and you'll have this situation. And I like to maybe move that up and over, and technically that's pretty well locked. Now, we have a little bit of air left uh, to move in the balloon, and I like to give that like a little S twist like that, and same thing kind of at the top, okay? And this is our stem. So we'll set this aside and get back to that in a moment. Uh, if I'm at an event, sometimes I'll just put it right underneath my arm like this. Ugh. Conjoined twins. Again, the separation is nearly impossible. So to go ahead and make the petals of our balloon, we take the color that the recipient desires and we're gonna go ahead and twist about a two inch bubble right there and that ever so famous upside down j shape right there again imagine that little line we're gonna go ahead and twist that one two three four we have covered that in other videos so if this is your first balloon twisting video with me that's a technique we employ in other areas it kind of looks like a dog's head but this is actually the first petal in our balloon we're going to make five of them with one of them being usually a little bit larger than the others so we'll show you why in a moment we twist another one one two three four Oh, kind of looks like mm, an animal with some big ears. But we're going to keep going here. One, two, three, four. So we got another twist. Give it a little squeeze. Let the air move down the balloon. There we have our fourth one. Starting to look like something. Now, sometimes I'll make that smaller balloon where I make a, a small flower. And I, I usually will have it be about like this. Tie this to the back. Can be a, a short balloon flower for you we'll cover that in a future video to, to, to where but to take this where we needed to we're going to go ahead and twist this one more one two three four there we go and with where we started the balloon and tied it off we like to stretch that out tie it up over and around there we go And then that stabilizes the balloon. So we have that one here. We have the little bubble there on the back. And that stabilizes everything. And as you can see, what I like to do is take that fifth one. That's the that You'll get one of these that's a little bit larger than the others. And so I like to take the one that's a little larger than the others and have it be the top one. And it, have it kind of go sideways compared to the other four. So if it's going sideways compared to the other four, it will help stabilize the balloon. 
Because again, what you want people to say is, hey, that's a flower, or hey, that's a whatever it is you just made. You really don't want them to say, oh, that's a neat balloon, uh, what is it? You don't want them to say that. So you get this situation with your flower, and then of course you get a hold of your stem. Whoa. The stem and where we tied it off from, we go to the underside, up and over. And I like to go through one of the petals at least once, and then you straighten it out. You got your your five at the top, and there you go. So you got the the little little button part in the middle. Sometimes I'll draw a little face on that for for kids, and uh, that's really really fun. But uh, that is my flower balloon. And do you have a flower balloon? It's our question of the day. There are lots of different ways to make flower balloons and some are very intricate. So if you have a favorite, please go ahead and comment below or share a video that you might have. Or if there's a cool flower that you'd like to see me make, please comment below. And also ding that bell icon and subscribe. Give us a thumbs up like so we can keep doing what we're doing here. We wanna be part of a community. And again, my name is Sydney Storm. Thank you for twisting a flower with us today.